short video lecture so I want to show you guys how to download your data set from Hugging Face. Now Hugging Face is a large data bank that you can actually use to write your machine learning models, transformer models, and also collect data sets to work locally in your system. So here, I want to show you how easy it is to download um, data set from Hugging Face, right? There are some data sets that requires you requires an API key, but you just need to register to get this data set. Why they are mo most most of them are free. All right, so we'll look at the free ones here in this lecture. So I'll go to their site, which is Hugging Face. I already have it here, Hugging Face. That's co slash data set. All right. So I'll click and enter. Okay, you can see. Yeah, I can try to search any data that I'm looking for here. So let's assume that I want to work on. Um, <clears throat> let's assume that I want to work on sentiment analysis, right? So I'll just put sentiment here, sentiment analysis here, and it gives me the data set that I can use. So depending on which one we have, this talky sentiment analysis, or sentiment analysis processes. So let me use finance sentiment analysis. So I click on finance sentiment analysis, and it gives me the data set. Now what I will do here. So this is the asset, right? So let me for use. So what I will do here is just to copy this name, right? I've copied this. I didn't copy the asset. You can see what I did here. So I'll go to my Python script here, right? This Visual Studio, which is the integrated development environment I'm using. So let me just create a script. Let me just put and download the file. Right. So what I will do, I've already installed and um, the I've already installed the data sets, right? If you don't have it, all you just need to do is to create a virtual environment and go to create a virtual environment is pi dash n v n v e n v and press enter. So once you're done with that, you now activate the environment, which name of my environment is env, right? You can see the name of my environment, I've already created it here. So slash scripts. Slash scripts slash activate and you click enter. So when you click enter, you see something like this here, yeah, right on your terminal. On your terminal here. So I've already installed my data set. It's just to you pip install data set. Right? So when you click on it, install. Where you get mine done? So when you've done that, so you have to like get the from data sets, right? From the data sets we are importing. The loader set. Okay, so if I have a variable called data set, then equals to a function. There's a function called loader set inside this data set extension, right? So now, what I I'll copy this. You can see I paste what I copied there on the long online there. So now to collect the data, all I just need to do is the data set. This data set, right? Then the train you can decide to collect the train on the validation of the test. So I'll call it a train. So equal the train dot on the save it as in dot csv file. csv file. Then I'll call it a name. Let me call it a sentiment analysis. Right, that's csv. Okay. So when I run this. Which is pi download pi. So let's wait. But it's taking time because it's using the internet to actually get it. Right. So you can see how you can see how it's retrieving it, right? You can see what it's doing. It has got the, you can see the data set here. Can you see that? So it's very, very easy to get that set from the login phase, right? Well, anyone that requires API key, just register, right? So thank you and God bless you. I hope you understand the short video is very simple. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.